Hey everybody, this is Rich. We're gonna make a task management app in five minutes. I have a task table with different columns that describe the different attributes of my tasks. I also have some dummy data I've added here so I can see the data as it's manipulated in my application. I also have a project tab for tracking the high level projects of the application. With that, I'm going to hit in Google Sheets, hit tools, go to app sheet and click create an app. Now that I landed in the app editor, I see task is added. I'm going to add the project table. And then I'm going to go to columns after the table is added and start and double check my columns. So I see here that project name's accurate here. Uh, address is address. Signature, the banner is not accurate. I want that to be an image, so I'm going to change that in the task table. I also see that the fields look all right. I need to create different enum values for my status, so I'm going to change that to enum. So I'm going to create three different statuses, not started, started, and complete. And then for image, I'm going to change that to image. It will set a signature. And then for project ID, I'm going to create this as a reference column and set this to target the project table as a reference. Now I'm going to go to the user interface here uh, and create a project view. And this is going to act for, as my high level view for my project. Then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to assign different fields to my project. Make sure that I have the fields I want. So I'm going to put project name and I'm going to put project address as a secondary header. In addition to that, I'm going to clean up some of the action icons I may not want there, such as uh, the delete button. So I'll keep the edit button and the ability to view the project address for the app itself. Then I'm going to give this an icon. Next, I'm going to modify the project detail view make that more user friendly. So with the main image, I'm going to select project banner as the main image up at the top. And then for column order, I'll, I'll select the columns I want to show in this view, such as project name, address, and uh, related tasks. Next, I see the related tasks are, uh, they're big and I don't want them that way. So I'm going to go ahead and click view here so I could quickly go to that navigation view by clicking tasks inline hyperlink at the bottom of the preview window. And I'm going to rechange this. I'm going to change this inline view to a table view. And then I'm going to make a column order uh, where I only want to show the task and the start date. In addition to that, I want the ability to check off these tasks very easily. So I'm going to create an action. I'm going to go to the action section under behaviors and action. And I'm going to name this action complete. And I'm going to tie that to the task table and set the status of that field as complete. Now I'm going to change the appearance of the thing to a check mark. And I'm going to make this an inline display associated with the task ID. One thing for this complete action we'll want to do is make sure this action doesn't show when the status is complete. So we'll say status is not equal to complete. That way, when it's completed, the action disappears. So now when I click complete the checkbox in the task, I can just, and that disappears and marks it off. Next, I want to give some visual indicator that that task is complete other than the check mark disappearing. So under format rules, I'm going to create a new format rule, call it task complete. And for status, I'm going to say status equals to complete. The fields are going to be the task and start date fields that'll show. And then for text format, I'm going to put a strike through in place. In addition to this, I'm going to go to the task view and clean this up and remove that because I don't want, I don't want that in my application. Now I'm going to give the this header a name here that's better than related tasks. I'm going to find the related tasks virtual column and give the display name project tasks. And lastly, I'm going to add a map view so I could view all my projects on a map. I'm going to go to new view called project map and select map as an option and select the ensure the project address is the map table. And then under format roles, I want to, I want these icons to show more prominently. I'm going to create a format rule for these icons, and that's associated with the project table. And I'm going to select the uh, project address, and I'm going to select an icon for the project here. We'll select the same type of icon here. And then we'll, we'll turn that red as well to make it more prominent. And then we'll give the condition to, we only want this rule to run when context the view is equal to the project map. And lastly, we're going to clean up the task detail view to make it a little bit more visually appealing. For image, we'll put the image in the header, and then we'll add the columns we want to show the users. 
We can also add some quick edit columns here so we can easily fill out notes in the application without needing to edit the details of that project. And with that, we'll do a final review of the app, making sure it functions how we want it to. We have the projects with an image, and we could view the project location with the click of a button. We can check off uh, tasks easily. We could click into tasks and view those details. We can add some notes about the task, back, back out, and we could even edit the details of the project as a whole if we wanted to. And then we could also view a project map as well. So with that, that this looks okay. And we could go ahead and deploy this app. And then I could share it with, with additional individuals if I want. And with that, we made a task management app in five minutes. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks everyone for watching and have a good one.